Today, we're diving deep into Gotham to check out its iconic protector, Batman. This story is rooted in tragedy. Young Bruce Wayne witnessed the murder of his parents, Thomas and Martha Wayne, during a mugging in Gotham City. Traumatized and driven by a bow to rid the city of the evil that took his parents' lives, Bruce trains extensively in various disciplines, including martial arts, detective skills, and science. Adopting the persona of Batman, he uses his wealth and resources to fight crime and corruption in Gotham, becoming a symbol of fear to criminals and a beacon of hope to its citizens. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, let us take a closer look at Mapex's latest release, The Night Crusader Batman. I initially planned to review this alongside their Bane figure, but that release got pushed to July. So let's start with the packaging. The front has a large window showcasing the figure and accessories, giving a clear view of what you get. It features the classic Batman logo we are familiar with from the comics, but notice that it doesn't mention anything that this figure is from the Nightfall storyline. It only says Night Crusader Batman. Although when this was being marketed, it hinted it by pairing this Batman with Bane. The right side of the box shows Batman with his pointy shoulder look. While the left side has a full photo of the figure and its number in the line, which is 215. The back highlights various promo pictures that give us a glimpse of the figure's three different display options. Out of the box, we get the standard map extend, which I feel could use some improvement as it tends to loosen over time. This figure has three display options and a unique variety of accessories, so I'll show them as we explore his different looks. Starting with the alternate hands, there are five additional pairs beside the closed vest he comes with out of the box. Let's take a closer look at the figure itself. Out of the box, he has a neutral head sculpt and pointy shoulders. The bat logo is painted on, not sculpted separately. And the yellow belt aligns with the classic look. The dark gray costume is a great choice as it enhances the muscle definition of the figure. The blue cloth cape matches the plastic parts, creating a smooth transition from plastic to cloth. The wired keep is perfect for dynamic poses. For the pointy shouldered cape, I prefer using the long pointy eared head sculpt. Reminiscent of the comic covers that I remember during the Nightfall storyline. The neutral head sculpt goes well with the alternate cape that lacks the pointy shoulders, giving a more classic vibe. The third look features the head sculpt with the breathing apparatus. Ideal for underwater scenes where the cape would be cumbersome. 
Now, let's check out the articulation with this scuba diving look. For the head articulation, he comes with the double ball peg. So he can look down that far, he can look up that far, side to side. Yeah. Head articulation is amazing. He has butterfly articulation, which works pretty well. He can do the T-pose. He has a bicep cut, double jointed elbow, and a double peg wrist. He has a abdomen cut. Waist rotation, which together has an amazing range. For the leg, he has a drop down articulation there, so he can kick that far, he can kick back. that far so batman can do the split double jointed knee ankle pivot and toe articulation He can also do the bend them that far. Switching back to the long eared look, which is my favorite, we have the last accessory a batarang with a bendy wire. This is the moment when I realize he doesn't come with other weapons like a regular batarang or a grappling hook gun. This caught me off guard because. I was so focused on the figure's various looks. This new concept from Mapex, focusing on different display options rather than multiple weapons or accessories, is something I can get behind. It feels like getting three figures in one. The wired batarang is a nice change too. Overall, I love this new approach and hope Mapex continues it with future releases. Thanks for sticking around to the end of my review. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe for more bigger reviews. See you next time.